one person to hop in this car and not kill it. I am a professional. Yeah, okay. As I'm going to kill it right here. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I'm driving a 1995 Mazda Miata that has been turbocharged. This is the owner, Ryan. He what's is going to be giving us some guidance today on what the heck this thing is. Up front's a 1.8 liter Mazda engine which has been tweaked a lot and we'll talk about that later. Down below is actually a six speed manual out of a Mazda Speed Miata. And because this is technically sort of a swapped car, we're gonna do this review in reverse. So we're gonna start off by talking about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have actually glow shift gauges where the normal Miata gauges would be. Now, Ryan, you actually did these gauges, these glow shift gauges. These are not factory, obviously. Correct, I did everything on the car was done by me. So, what what you have to do to get the glow shift gauges to work? They actually fit perfectly into the factory location. Like I have the speedometer in the same spot as the factory Miata. I have oil pressure and water temp in there. You just have to open up the holes a little bit, and they kind of just slide right in. And it was not a difficult swap at all. The wiring was the most difficult part. Which if you're good with wiring, it's not a big issue. And then I have a Renown wheel. What size is this? 300 millimeters. Okay. I really like the feel. I really like the suede. This is the kind of wheel I want to get for my car, honestly. And I think it's a little small. Don't they, they make a size they, bigger? They make a 320, 330, and a 350. I actually just got a 330 for my uh, RX-8. And then what seats are we in? These are Corvo FX1 Pros, if okay. I'm remembering right. I kind of like them. Actually, like once you actually slide into them, like being a bigger guy, like that's kind of hard for me. But once I'm in, I'm in. The difficult part with putting aftermarket seats in Miatas is not a lot of them fit. So they actually fit fairly decently in a Miata without having to modify the trans tunnel a ton. Right. You might have to like tap it with a hammer a little bit. But other than that, like this side fit without an issue. It's just the driver's side that was the big issue. Right. And so I, the last thing about the interior is it is the black on tan color, which I actually sort of like. Stock, I'm not a big fan, but with the black seats, with the black roll bar, I think it all kind of works together. Now we'll talk about the looks before we get back to the engine, because that's sort of the big ticket item of this review. I think the car looks great. I really like the dealer option, the pinstripe down the side. Mm -hmm. uh, what wheels are these? These are Young Blue Aero 500s. And tires? Nitto NTO ones. So nice. it's a 15 by 9, 15 by 9 wheel. Uh, 225 45 15. They're 100 tread wear tires. Oh, wow. Side of the top sidewall does say for recommended for competition events only, but as you can tell, we drive it on the street. Because that's just what we do here. Exactly. Last thing before we get to the engine and trans uh, the chassis. The You have solid bushings all around, right? Not solid bushings. I have polyurethane bushings. Polyurethane. So for motor mounts, I have the AWR with the 90 durometer polyurethane bushings. I have polyurethane bushings in the differential and then all the, the suspension has polyurethane bushings as well. Okay so let's get to the big ticket item the motor because good old engine. it's technically the stock 1.8 that came in these but nothing left on it is it stock. Is. It is a stock engine it right. came out of a Miata I mean there's it's a stock car with a little turbo on it. It's, it's nothing special. So what turbo is it? It's a Garrett 3071R. It has a anti-surge housing on the front and then a three inch V-band for the exhaust side. And what do we have for cooling? Cooling, I got just about everything you can do on for a 1.8. It's got a coil, I think they're 55 millimeter, whatever the thicker radiator that they have. It has the thickest radiator. It's got the M-Tune coolant reroute on it. I'm running factory fans because they push plenty of air. So there's no reason to upgrade if they work. And then the actual engine you said is, is built as well. Correct. So the engine came out of this car. This is a 61 or 62,000 mile chassis that I bought. I took the engine. It's bored out to 83 and a half millimeters. It has wise coat, eight and a half. Pretty sure, eight, either eight and a half or nine to one compression pistons. It has manly H beam rods. I have ACL bearings for the mains and the rods. ARP two thousand volts for the main for the rods. 
rooms. The red got, line is I'm at seven. Scared. Is at seventy two hundred, which is pretty conservative for these things, and he still's only doing six thousand RPMs.
it is a fun, awesome little rocket of a car. Oh yeah. I've driven cars that are not built properly and they're sketchy, they're weird. Once you get used to this clutch, which is going to be for any six puck, it's not unique to this car. Once you get used to that, this really feels, you know what, it it's almost feels factory. And, and that's almost. a big compliment, almost. almost. Because of the harnesses, the seats, and how stiff the chassis is, but power-wise, mm -hmm. it feels like a factory car. It feels like there was a team behind it that dialed it in. And no, it was just this dumb wondering. idiot from the Midwest. The team is me. <laughs> it's just this jabroni over here. Hey, don't be mean. <laughs> this jabroni built an okay car. This jabroni built a great car that I'm gonna stall at this light 100%. Guaranteed. Oh, we'll get it down to second. Don't have to start in first. Cheat code. <laughs> but this jabroni built an okay car. It does pretty good. It, it does really, really well. You can thank TH Motorsports for half the parts that are on the car. Shout out TH Motorsports. And Will Long. And Will Long. This is just a testament to just take your time, get real parts, do it the right way first, and it really goes a long way because this is just a fantastic car and an awesome, awesome driving experience. Thank you, Ryan, so much for letting me drive it. You're very welcome. This is awesome. Please, if you have a Miata, boost it the right way. I beg you. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really like to. Take care, guys. See ya. So I